I remember watching Magic School Bus in school. Do you remember? Was it medically accurate? We're about to find out. Be woo! What are you doing? Our class is broadcasting two hours of live television today, and I said I'd have a show for them to do. And I don't. Yet. <laughs> That's how I feel making every YouTube video. And cover your mouth when you're coughing, buddy. It's my opinion, as your mother, and as a doctor, that you have a fever, which means you are sick, which means you are going back to bed. How did she know he has a fever? She did not measure his temperature. She did not feel his forehead. Yes, Dr. Tonelli, thank you for calling. What is this stegosaurus that is on top of her shoulder? Is Ralphie staying home from school today, Miss Frizzle? I can't overstate the importance of this. Do not send your kids to school if they are sick. Then it prevents the other kids from getting sick too. How can anything that smells like grape shoe polish help my body get well? Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Cough syrup doesn't really help you get better. And in fact, when we look at the research at over-the-counter cough syrups, they don't work that well. Just use some magical honey as long as you're over the age of one. Why am I saying it to you as if you're one and you understand what I'm saying? And don't forget to shake well before using. Like this? <laughs> Even your jokes are sick. Wow. Wow. Stand-up comedy? I've got to go see another patient, but Grandpa's downstairs if you need anything. Okay, Mama Bear, you're a doctor. You know that if you're kissing your son, who is sick, you're potentially getting yourself sick, thereby getting your patient sick. Don't do that. Good afternoon, I'm Ralphie, and this is the Frizzle News Network. I need to know what this brontosaurus is. Area. Okay, so they're in the oropharynx here. They're by the uvula, that little punching bag that hangs from the back of your throat. It looks like they're going low to check out the tonsils, the pharynx, maybe even the larynx if they go low enough. Oh, get a shot of those vocal cords, class. Look how red and swollen his throat is. Most kids, when they have a sore throat, it's not their vocal cords that are the problem. It's usually higher up, tonsils, which is why you hear tonsillitis, or pharyngitis, which is just your typical sore throat. But that is higher than the larynx, so I don't know why they ventured all the way down to the larynx. It's not as easy for us or germs to get inside the body as you might think. Yeah, skin pretty much covers it. Yo, what is this pterodactyl that's just in every scene? I've got it! The nose! Look at this! Is it just me? Or does this say, this way in? How are you gonna get into the mouth through a scab on your thigh? That is one journey the Magic School Bus probably won't make. We're all gonna die! It's a shortcut. Get it? Shortcut? Carlos! I love puns. Carlos, not a good pun. Wow! Dude, what is this Triceratops doing? Someone tell me. For every trip, there's a roadmap. That's Ralphie's bloodstream. Good bloodstream. We'll take the Trans-Ralphie Highway system. And here we go! What doesn't make sense to me is, let's say they take the venous system back up to his throat. The venous system doesn't empty at his throat. It empties into the heart. In order to get to the throat, they need to take the venous system back to the heart, from the heart, back up to the throat, and then from the capillaries kind of enter the throat? Diffusion? And it doesn't even hurt! This kid's not panicking, there's a velociraptor sitting next to him. They ventured into a capillary. Those are red blood cells floating around. Platelets, white blood cells floating in there as well. That stuff is clear! That's right, Rafi. The liquid part of the blood is clear. It's actually not clear, it's yellow. It's plasma. We talked about this. If you haven't, video link down below. Are they what make blood- What is this ankylosaurus doing watching television and filming? They're called red blood cells, and the white ones are white blood cells. But what are those jaggedy things? Platelets. Are platelets. They help the body heal scrapes and cuts. That's true, blood has the four components there, platelets, white blood cells, red blood cells, and plasma. Plasma makes up 55% of your blood, and it's yellow, so your blood's really yellow. Bacteria are germs. Once inside our bodies, they can make us sick. Ralphie has a bacterial infection! What a great diagnosis. And that's absolutely true. Bacterial infections do make us sick. They can give us sore throats. That's why you hear the term strep throat. Sore throats, the majority of the time, aren't caused by bacterial infections, are caused by viruses, therefore not requiring antibiotics. Such an important point. Look! Here comes some white blood cells! It's throwing stuff in the bacteria! 
Basically what happens is the bacteria gets labeled as foreign. It starts getting attacked and eaten alive by the macrophages. The neutrophils start uh, multiplying in number. And through an inflammatory cascade, you actually call on more white blood cells to come on and beat up on this bacteria. But then remember, when you're having this inflammatory cascade, it's also causing damage to the surrounding tissue. The way I like to explain this is imagine a war just went on on some really beautiful grass. And even though the good guys won and they're all safe and sound, the grass got pretty torn up. That's your throat. That's what needs time to heal. That's why it hurts. No wonder I'm There's sick. a Spinosaurus hiding underneath his blanket. I'm going to try to get an exclusive interview with these two bacteria. If you ever run into a bacteria, do not interview it. They will infect you. Infect you. Complete. I just saw an iguanodon pop up. The plesiosaur just turned on the television. Is that the medicine mom gave me earlier? It sure is. Okay, take back what I said. It looks like the mom slash doctor gave him an antibiotic. How did she know it was bacterial? I don't know, because she didn't do a strep test. She didn't do a throat culture. I feel like this is encouraging the overuse of antibiotics. <laughs> but maybe I'm taking it too seriously because it's a cartoon. I mean what I think it means. Oh, no. Ralphie's antibodies are marked the bus is bad. The macrophage is about to eat the magic school boys. Why isn't the potosaurus waking Ralphie up so he can save them? Ralphie's white blood cells will have to catch us first. It's a good thing bacteria don't have hovercraft engines or turbines on the back of them to escape white blood cells. I've never seen a pteranodon use an alarm clock before. This is certainly a first. This brachiosaurus is really getting witty. We left Ralphie's throat and are now heading up his nasal pharyngeal passages. Prediction time. They're gonna get clumped in a piece of mucus and they're gonna get sneezed right out. Final answer. We're up Ralphie's nose. They're like, throat, cool, nose, ew! What's the difference? <laughs> Why is the Mosasaurus sneezing? Can you get interspecies infectivity like this? I get it. I've got to sneeze them out. But I don't feel like sneezing. <laughs> this Diplodocus is one smart dino. Sorry, Liz, but I can't hear a thing. Do Dilophosauruses even have lungs? Getting all your shots is another way to keep healthy. Shots help your body be prepared for some of the really tough germs. A vaccine is like a wanted poster, where you essentially tell all your cells to be ready for this foreign invader in case it does come along. Hey, does Miss Frizzle ever get sick? No way! She takes good care of herself, gets all of her shots, and she's magic. I don't think that's an accurate representation to kids. It's okay to get sick. You will get better. The body needs challenges. Without challenges, that's how autoimmune problems happen. Medical shows are fun, but medical games are even more fun. Check out this video of me playing Surgeon Simulator. I make a really good surgeon. Not accurate, but very fun to watch. Click here, check it out. As always, stay happy and healthy. Operation.